Muting 101. How to be a good muter. Muting is a team sport. The first step in the African Moot Court competition is to have two team members. You and your co-counsel will argue alongside each other for every round, either as applicant or as respondent. But you will always be together as a team. The African Moot Court competition has two phases. In the first phase, teams prepare written arguments or memorials. In the second phase, the two team members speak before a simulated African Court on human and people's rights. Memorial Writing Written submissions are intended to present an outline of your client's case. It sets out the argument and supporting authority with which you aim to persuade the judge. How do you write a memorial? Much like an essay, your submission must flow and have a logical structure. Each submission must have its own introduction, body and conclusion. The best way to construct a persuasive submission is to use the FIRAC method. F-I-R-A-C Facts Identify the portion of the facts that are relevant to the argument and prayer you're dealing with. Issue What is the crux of the matter about which the court has to make up its mind? Rule This is the legal authority that assists you in resolving the crucial issue in the case. Application. Apply the rules to the facts. Conclusion. Bring together all the steps and show how you have proven your case. The structure of written submissions. In respect to each submission, start with your strongest argument. This is usually the argument that has the most authority to support it and can stand on its own without other arguments to back it up. What if you can't find case law to support your argument? When all you can find are judgments that are against your client's case, a good strategy is to distinguish between the facts of those previous judgments and the case that you are arguing. General tips for written submissions. Don't be satisfied with your first draft. Finish in time to allow yourself to revise your memorials. Quality over quantity. Argue a few points in great depth rather than making many superficial points. Study the best previous African Moot Court memorials and use them as a guide. Remember to read and follow the rules. Oral advocacy. This is the part of the moot that is the most thrilling. Persuasion is all about how you say, not what you say. You are having a conversation and not making a speech, so speak to and not at your audience. Avoid a pre-prepared script. Maintain a formal but not aggressive demeanor towards the judges. The best way to achieve this is to rest your arms on the podium, maintain eye contact, nod occasionally and smile. Use your voice to make your case. Speak slow enough to allow the listeners to follow but loud enough to be audible without shouting. Vary your tone to allow for voice emphasis. Always remember to manage your time. Have short versions of your arguments ready in case you run out of time. Rehearse. Practice your presentation out loud in front of a mirror while keeping track of the time. Questions. The main thing being tested is how well you know the facts of the case and the law applicable to its resolution. So the answer will always be in the facts or law you researched. Do not be afraid to ask for clarification when you do not understand a question. Also, do not get intimidated by questions. Answering questions is your opportunity to shine. How to address the court. Address the judges as honorable justice and the full bench as the court. The presiding judge should be referred to as presiding judge. Remember to be differential to the bench as they are not your peers. Dress appropriately for the court. 
A safe rule of thumb is to wear black and white or other professional colors. Remember, it's not about the shiniest suit, but the one that allows your muting to shine beyond it. That's how you can best position yourself to be a successful muter.